What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we're about to watch a death battle. Finally, a death battle I'm interested in. Okay, so, for those who don't know, uh, Death Battle did Mario vs. Sonic years ago, like before they knew how to do proper research, before they had a team and everything. So they came up with a silly reason, like, uh, Sonic wins because Mario uses items and Sonic doesn't. So when Mario ran out of items, that would let Sonic win somehow. <laughs> um, so... It's it's pretty reasonable to see why they're redoing this. It's not like they're redoing a recent fight. Um, this is from the very early days of Death Battle, and... Ever since I started doing Versus stuff myself three years ago, I've been saying that Mario wins this fight. So, this is another chance, since people only want to listen to Death Battle. Um, so let's see if they got it right this time. But overall, if it's right or wrong, I don't care, because this is going to be a really exciting episode anyways. Because I already saw the preview... And the hand-drawn animation is so good. Uh, but anyways, we're going to start this in 3, 2, 1, now. Check out now. 23andMe, a DNA testing service that can offer insight <laughs> to your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. The 23andMe Health and Ancestry Service includes reports on how your DNA... Oh man, this is so fascinating. Quality, ...sense of taste, and more. It's super easy to do. You just uh, spit my the lips are too dry. I can't whistle right now. Analyze. I learned a lot about my go. family tree, and I'm probably a little lactose intolerant. Order your 23andMe Health and Ancestry Service Kit at 23andMe.com slash death battle. That's the number 23andMe.com slash death battle. Okay. I did not pay attention to any of that. Their rivalry is legendary. Their fame unmatched. This mm -hmm. battle has gone on for nearly three decades. Ah, the brawl today, reveal. It finally comes to an end. Mario, Nintendo's whimsical Italian turtle crusher. Woohoo! Let's Hedgehog, go. Sega specialist of speed. Time to find out if Sega really does. Oh, that's but right. Ten don't. They're or actually Nintendo showing up in this one. The same rules Death Bellas had for the past. Look at the TV. Years. Most importantly, the original video games will be our primary source for analysis. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> Plumber, carpet, Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> Mario has worn many hats throughout his life, but uh. he always does so as a hero. Except for that time he tortured an animal, but no one really talks about that. Born as one of the seven star <laughs> children possessing an extraordinary amount of power. But no, guys. Mario is evil. What are you talking about? Mario and <laughs> isn't he on shrooms? That drug addict. Not exactly the great heroic destiny I was expecting, but hey, at least his girlfriend was smoking. But everything changed after a chance meeting with Princess Peach Toadstool. <laughs> Her mushroom kingdom had been conquered by Bowser, the tyrannical... Oh, I gotta read these notes. I have poor vision. I gotta lean in. ...hope of rescue lay in the hands of the Mario Brothers. And Mario had all the power he needed to okay. take the turtle down. Mario, Mario. Hello, it's a me, Mario, Mario. Really, Woohoo! Really strong. He can jump hey, they brought up Cappy. Nice. Smash tanks to bits with his butt and uh, toss bombs around gloves, as if he's a pyrokinesis. Okay. Needless to say, the Mushroom Kingdom was in good hands. So was the princess. She even <clears> gave Mario a piece of her cake. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, get in there, buddy. You deserve it all. Oh, come on, it's an actual cake. That's good too, I guess. And if his cake is good. Cut it, Mario has plenty of okay, reading. powers on hand. He can already shatter brick with his bare fists, but when he needs the power to break down the toughest ones, Haha, yep. he busts good, out good. the ultra hammer. They kept, like they remember, <laughs> they brought up the fact that Mario can actually stock up and hold on to power-ups. He doesn't just collect them as they appear in the levels, he can actually hold them in an inventory. So good. Good, 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 good. Of awesome power ups, like that spicy fire flower. Actually, while Mario used to need this flower, he has since learned how to use pyrokinesis without it. Well, the ice flower lets him freeze enemies. The lucky bell turns him into a kitty cat, and the super yeah. mushroom gives him a power boost and increases his size. <laughs> ah, I bet the princess. Oh loves boy. That one. With his frog yep, there, there's the 2007 the internet joke. With the double cherry, he can create clones of himself. <laughs> with no power Mario is not a kid's game. I bet the mushroom grows his peep. He can soar yeah, to okay. And with the star man or rainbow star, he becomes totally invincible for a short time. And with the gold flower, he never Hooray, has to no limits fallacies. Because <laughs> he's got an infinite supply of money. 
But it's not really a no limits Why fallacy since it is a limited amount of time. But yep, see it right there. He's quick enough to maneuver when transformed into a bolt of lightning and skilled enough to pilot the Star Diver as it rockets yes. through the atmosphere. Okay, reading. He's so freaking manly, he took an explosion to the face that wrecked an entire castle. And even better, yep, yep. he was standing in the middle of this. Based on a standard tennis court's measurements, we can determine the blast of this fireball covered a radius of over 2,000 feet. To reach this distance, the blast must have had an explosive <laughs> yield of over 2.4 megatons. So what you're saying is Mario That's like town level at least, least right? <laughs> but building level Mario, am I right? Probably. <laughs> also, he can throw a baseball so fast it overloaded this speed gun, implying it was launched over 999 miles per hour. In the Mario World cartoon, he hurled a dinosaur out of orbit. Assuming this creature is of similar size and weight to a Tyrannosaurus Rex, this feat would require a force of over 135 tons. Can you do that to Yoshi next? Wait, Wiz, I thought you said we're only using the games. Any official material counts so long as it's supported by the games, otherwise we'd be ignoring a huge majority of the character's history. Take a look at this chain chomp. It's actually made up of solid gold. Gold is ridiculously heavy. While one cubic foot of iron weighs 491 pounds, a cubic foot of gold is over 1,200 pounds. Luckily, mm. a chain chomp is a perfect sphere, so we can compare it to Mario's height to find that it weighs nearly 6,000 tons. Wait, did he just leave it in that hole? Cash it in, Mario! That thing's worth $366 billion! That's actually correct. Well, yeah, that guy on TV who always wants my gold told me. This isn't even Mario's <laughs> most impressive feat. At one point, cash for he gold. Entire fortress or and gold for cash. I don't. He does the same thing in the manga. Whatever the ad was, that would never stop showing up. Against Bowser, who survived collapsing castles multiple times. Since this and black holes. Castle size difficult to determine. We measured the entire interior based on maps from the game. By scaling these measurements to the castle's smaller avatar and conservatively assuming a limestone composition, we've determined the castle must weigh more than 61 million tons. And he just Phew. kicked it away like it was a freaking soccer ball. Given the distance it was kicked, Mario must have exerted a force of around three and a half megatons of TNT. Another town level this feat. Means Mario's foot is 231 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. Now seems like a good time for a beer. Or <laughs> Honestly, Mario's absurd strength should okay, be surprising reading. as you'd think. While he's fairly uh, the moon not much of a strategist, he saved the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser's uh, 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 Good, good, good. Again. Good and feats. the Koopa King is tough enough to survive a dip in the sun, or even a black hole. Don't mm -hmm. Nintendo's powerful plumber. Here we go! Somewhere out there on a strange now I can understand why Death Battle didn't cover this because it would make Mario a bit too strong and make the fight unfair if they explained it, but um Paper Mario and Mario are different characters, right? And Paper Mario is ridiculously strong, like universal levels and all that. But Mario and Paper Mario can scale to each other thanks to Paper Jam. But I guess I could understand why they left that out, because that would be insane. Um but here's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. He's the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive. I don't know why I was Sonic doing there. While Sonic has a physique overall, Ugh. speed is his speciality. In fact, superhuman speed is a natural trait for the anthropomorphic hedgehog, though Sonic's abilities are far superior to his kin. Wait a minute, all hedgehogs have super speed? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, real hedgehogs are also nocturnal, not blue, and when they try to make friends with foxes, they get eaten. So I don't think Sega cares. All right then, to stop Eggman from turning Rest all his in peace. Okay, reading. into batteries, Sonic cranked up that speed and weaponized it. He can okay. crush his enemies with the spin attack. He's got Michael Jackson's shoes. Have we seen Sonic Moonwalk? Sonic he should. Instantly with the super peel out and plow through hordes of badniks with the spin dash. Holy crap! I think this guy would just like vomit all the time. He's also used a number of power-ups throughout his adventures, including elemental shields. The Aqua Shield is especially useful as it grants him an incredibly high bouncing jump and protection against his greatest nemesis. Robotnik? No. Water. Water. <laughs> Seriously, Sonic, buddy, learn to swim already and save our ears from the bubble, 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 bubble. Rip.
The blue hedgehog can also gain abilities from small alien beings called wisps. All right, he's getting wisps. Well, he, I saw him get one in a preview, so obviously, but yeah. A bunch of stuff, really. Even a demonic hungry, hungry hippo. But before we delve any further, there is something vital which we need to discuss. It's time to figure out Sonic speed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. While exactly. He boasted that he is faster than light. Sonic has yet to prove this in canon without the aid of additional equipment or power-ups. Oh yeah, like when he connects to a trail of rings. But you can't take his bragging too seriously. He still got some of that radical '90s attitude. <laughs> okay. Sonic has had uh, I didn't read it. Dang it. As hypersonic, or somewhere between Mach 5 and Mach 10. This actually isn't too far fetched. The game Sonic Unleash records his speed. And he can reach a maximum around 3,500, uh, SPD. Sonic, he's got an STD. Sonic, it burns with any peas. <laughs> Assuming SPD is <laughs> metric meters, given the game's Japanese development, that puts Sonic's top speed over 7,872 miles per hour. <laughs> over 10 times the speed of sound. And just I don't know why I found that funny. So, is that it? Well, it's possible, no, likely, <laughs> that he's faster. In TV shows closely tied to the games, Sonic has dodged meteors, did this with a 10,000 frame per second camera, and even outran lightning. All of which implies that he can move and react around 200 to 300 times the speed of sound. How about <coughs> to a cyan wisp? He said that thing's almost as fast as him, even without its laser mode. That's right. The laser is a power it grants Sonic, not itself. Still, wisps yep. are incredibly fast. At one point, a group of them flew from Earth's surface to a black hole in orbit in the 20 seconds Sonic and Tails were talking. By measuring the planet's curve here, we can find that the Wisp aliens must have been moving around Mach 2. That is a really Sonic's weird curve. Them, this supports his cartoon feats. Why isn't that black hole sucking up the Earth? That's what they do, right? It's more like a pseudo black hole fueled by hyper goon energy. Yeah. I didn't know better. I swear he just made those words up. Its presence near Sonic does emulate that of a singularity, and Sonic actually outran its pull for 30 seconds. Due to chaotic accretion, black holes pull non-orbiting mass in oh at 30% the speed of light. Sonic's clearly pushing his running speed to its limit here, or else the black hole wouldn't have pulled him in. With this in mind, it's entirely possible that, without additional support, Sonic's maximum possible running speed must be around 200 million miles per hour. That's insane! The fastest man-made object in real life was the New Horizons space probe, which took off at more than 36,000 miles per hour. It took nine years for this probe to reach Pluto, but with sonic speed, he could make this same trip to Pluto <clears throat> oh, in reading. less than I didn't pay attention. <laughs> well, we're Dang speed. it. I've always oh well. How fast I can chug a beer. My eyeballs didn't detect it. I was just watching the footage and listening. I'm already done. Uh, moving on. Even I was paying too much attention to pay attention. Okay, another one. Far more power hidden up his uh, He doesn't wear a shirt. Uh -huh. He can achieve the form of supersonic by absorbing. Okay, a yeah. Amount of positive that's a, that's another thing. Breaking time, manipulating time, mode, traveling through time just by speed alone. That does not imply anything because that is completely fictional. So, speed of that speed of light doesn't automatically mean you can travel through time, or traveling through time doesn't automatically mean speed of light. Reading things. Okay. Dark Spide, uh, <laughs> He's got all the yeah. Of Super Sonic, plus total uh, Dark Spide, Sonic Cries, the Super Rings, or the Chaos oh, Ring, whatever they were, the Secret Rings, of, uh, and Werehog Sonic required that Dark Gaia energy, negative whatever. I, I know my Sonic, I used to be a fanboy, huge fanboy. Okay. Survived re-entry from orbit and blasted apart a mountain. This would need more than 200 tons of TNT to pull off. And while fighting his evil Robocopy Metal Sonic, they shattered this enormous stalactite. Holy shit, just Whew. look at the size of it! By comparing it to the buildings in this city and applying the density of granite, the most common rock in continental crust, we found that this stalactite must weigh almost 47 million tons. Which means a break like this would need a force of almost 200 kilotons of TNT. Damn. Oh, not a megaton. He got what it takes to save the world from a madman scientist, even if he is kind of a dick. Well, Sonic may be a bit arrogant and That's like less than a tenth of Mario, I believe, best, he's the from what they show. Of honest and heroic. He's used his powers to defeat Eggman time and time again, even against gigantic Looks like it's leading in Mario's favor, guys. Come on. Those cute and cuddly forest critters can rescue Let's go, my boy. Sonic's got to go fast. 
I'll show you how outclassed you really are. I'm in a class all my own. Time to put up or shut up, infinite. Yeah, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, if there's an ad, I might have to mute it for copyright, whatever. Um, because that got me in trouble one time. So, here we go. you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. But did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime rice. There's plenty to choose from mm -hmm. since they offer 12 All right, so maybe this won't be so bad. Please copyright don't attack me. I hear that cool music in the background. Um but Wisdom Boom sticker talking, so maybe 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 it won't get on to me. Uh-huh. The meat has no added hormones. Oh boy. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home. Humming just in case. That that techno dubstep EDM music. It is copyright. I'm not keeping track of my own thoughts. So the words of my sentence are probably mixing up and not making any sense. Woohoo. Oh yeah. But right now, it's time for All right, here we go. Death battle. Death battle. Here we go. Oh, the suns have eyes. The umbrella has eyes. I have four eyes. Mm -hmm. Hello, that's a mine. Finders keepers, pal. <laughs> Get your own chair. <laughs> Hoopa dooba. You asked for it, Tubby. <laughs> I love that. All right. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Oh, sand in the eyes. Beach bully. Sonic's a beach bully. Wahoo! Here we go! We are turning up the heat! Mario's turning into Mickey there. <laughs> fire with fire doesn't work, Mario. It's just a metaphor. Kitty cat. Hey, clone cherries. There they are. Time for a billion Marios. Oh, it's so good. I love this animation. Come on, my boy. Oh. Ouch. That one really looked like it hurt. Hypersonic already? What happened to Supersonic? Ho oh, ho. That was close. You're gonna run out of rings soon, Sonic. And Mario's gonna run out of star stuff. But okay. Oh, that's so good! Oh, that looks so good! I love this animation! Oh, shoot. Mamma mia! I thought my video froze for a second there. Oh, punch in the nose. Oh, 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 Mario, your hands. Do that Mario Striker stuff. Kick him. Oh, oh. oh wow. That was... Whoa. Mario! Seem to remember Sonic having this one in the bag. I'm sure yep. Sonic could have won in specific circumstances, but more times than not, Mario takes the victory. Keep in mind this analysis was done with a focus on the games and their closely tied media, excluding alternate contrary sources like the. Yeah, if you cheat with the comics, then Sonic could win. Mario and Sonic are essentially <laughs> right. entirely different characters from their gaming counterparts. Sonic had speed yep. in the bag, obviously, but Mario was way too tough for him. Their top strength feats paint this picture very. Very clearly. Mm -hmm. But I know what you're thinking. 
What good is Mario's strength okay. if he couldn't even hit the blue blur? He's way too fast, right? Yes and no. While Mario obviously couldn't match Sonic's relativistic okay, top running speeds, he's moved efficiently as a bolt of electricity hmm. and piloted the Star Diver. Based on our calculations, this puts him at the same level as Sonic's own reactionary feats. Since Mario was tough enough to tank almost anything Sonic could throw at him, it was only a matter yep. of time before he tagged the blue blur with a deadly blow. But what about chaos control? Couldn't Sonic just stop time and take care of things? What? It's heavily implied he knows how to, but Sonic has never actually used the Poor broomstick. in canon. Even then, Mario's stopwatch does the same thing, putting them on equal footing. Ah, don't do that! Where's my wallet? Actually, most of Mario and Sonic's powers <laughs> countered each other in this way. Mario even had plenty of options for defending against So this Sonic means and Luigi and beats Tails too. But Mario also had a much Cuz in some ways Luigi is stronger than Mario while Tails is always weaker in Sonic in every area except flying, but that's not really strength, just an ability. His arsenal would always outlast Sonic's because he's been shown to carry more of them on his person. Oh god. Oh, I've seen things. But even then, Mario's durability blew Sonic's out of the water. Even if we assume mm -hmm. the 200 kiloton stalactite feat was entirely Sonic's doing, Mario survived an explosion that was 12 times more And powerful. scaling the Bowser with the black hole. Sonic Never gonna let that go. Viable ...options that could take Mario down for good. I always knew Sonic was impressive. Oh! It was just they debunked Solaris. Thank you. Sonic was Thank you. Incredibly fast, but he couldn't compete with No Mario matter how many times I've debunked Solaris and the Time Eater and all that, people just won't listen. But now Death Battle's done it. Thank you, Wizard Boomstick. No, but now they can see me do this. Check it out, Wiz. The winner is Mario. Yeah. Woo! Good episode. Good episode. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who's next time. Next time. Oh. Oh, was that Sigma? Ultron? Sig Ultron Sigma! Ultron versus Sigma! Yeah. That's gonna be hype. Uh, but yeah, I love this death battle. This is amazing. One of the best death battles so far. Not just this season, but so far. Oh, finally. After all this time, Mario, people will maybe finally believe Mario wins. Just because Death Battle said so. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I love the episode. Keep up the good work. Death Battle, can't wait to see Ultron versus Sigma. Everybody applaud the brave out there. Eh.